Amen. So the, the world is celebrating what is uh, the most, you know, uh, in, in the world of Christianity, in Christendom. Today is the most impactful day because today they say it's Easter Sunday. Amen. And Easter Sunday is when Jesus Christ rose from the dead. On Good Friday, Jesus was believed to be crucified on the cross. And on that cross, he died and paid the penalty for our sins. But then, he did not remain dead. Amen? Yeah. Hindi po na natiling patay ang ating Panginoon. Because after three days, as the word of God has prophesied, Jesus Christ rose from the dead. Amen po ba? Yeah. Siya po ay nabuhay mula sa mga patay. And... That what separates us from other religion, because in other religions their leaders died, but until now are dead. Namatay yung kanilang mga leader, at hanggang ngayon sila po ay patay. Amen. Namatay po si si uh, si Confucius hanggang ngayon patay si Confucius. Namatay po si Muhammad hanggang ngayon patay si Muhammad. Namatay po ang maraming leader ng relihiyon at hanggang ngayon sila po ay patay. Amen? Amen. Pero ang Kristo, si Yeso Kristo ng Kristyanismo, namatay. Ngunit pagkatapos ng ikatlong araw, siya po ay nabuhay mula sa mga patay. Amen po ba? Amen. Amen. Palakpakan nga po natin ang ating Panginoon. Saan po ba ikita yan? Sa Mark chapter 16. Ang buong verse niyan, uh, ang buong chapter na yan ay pinapatunayan na yung mga babae, si Mary Magdalene, si Salome, si Mary na nanay niya sa laman, ay pumunta po sa tomb. They went to the tomb to annoy Jesus. Pero nung i-annoy nila si Jesus as part of the as part of the embalming process, the tomb the tomb was empty. Amen. The big stone was rolled away and they were wondering why who would have Move the stone. The, the stone was so heavy. Nobody could have moved it with one person lamang. But the men, uh, the women who were named Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of Jesus in the flesh and Salome saw it with their own very with their own eyes. That the tomb was empty. The stone was rolled away. And when they saw inside, nobody was there. Did somebody steal Jesus' body? Siya po ay nakita nila, inilibing eh. Pero nung binalikan nila, wala na. Amen? But the angel said, Fear not, because wala na rito ang inyong hinahanap. He is risen. Go and meet him. At sabi sa kanila, at sila po ay tumakbo trembling. So, uh, babasahin po natin sa book of Mark 11. Mark 16 the last chapter of the book of Mark ito po yung account of uh, resurrection of the Lord when the Sabbath was over Mary Magdalene Mary the mother of James and Salome bought spices so that they might go to anoint Jesus' body very early on the first day of the week just after sunrise they were on their way to the tomb And they asked each other, Who will roll the stone away from the entrance of the tomb? But when they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had been rolled away. And so they entered the tomb, and they saw a young man dressed in a white robe, sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But the young man said, Do not be alarmed. He said, You are looking for Jesus the Nazarene, who was crucified? He has risen. Amen. Yeah. Sabi na ho natin lahat. He has risen. He has risen. He is not here. See, the place where they laid him is empty. And so, go tell his disciples and Peter, he is going ahead of you into Galilee, and there you will so see him just as he told you. Trembling and bewildered, the women went out and fled from the tomb. And they said nothing to anyone because they were afraid. 
Makikita po natin dito yung uh, mga babae, sabi doon, and they said nothing. Sabi ganun, go and tell everyone he has risen. But because of fear, they were trembling, they could not even utter a word. Amen? Doon sila po ay lumabas at umalis, doon sa tomb ay uh, wala po silang masabi. Ano po yung naging reaction nila? They were overwhelmed. Amen? Sila po ay hey, hindi makapaniwala marahil kasi nakita nila eh. Three days ago, they saw how Jesus was crucified on the cross. They saw how Jesus was bruised, was pierced with a spear on his on his side. They saw how he was nailed on the cross. And they saw how he died on the cross. And they saw how he was laid on the tomb. And they saw how he was given spices. Binigyan siya ng spices, mababagong mga spices, pinabanguan at he was covered with linen cloth because Jesus died. Amen? Jesus died. They saw it with their own eyes. But now after three days, they went to the tomb to continue the embalming process. They had spices with them. They bought spices with them. To what? To annoy the body of Jesus Christ. Amen? That, that was the, the reason, that was the purpose why they went back to the tomb after three days. To continue the embalming process. Iembalsamoy nila ng mga unang panahon, ganun po ang pag And they were, and they were surprised. Amen? Ano pong nangyari? Why were they surprised? Because the, ro the stone was rolled away. And the Bible is very specific. It was a large stone. Amen? Malaking stone. Nobody could have moved it with an, with an ordinary strength. Amen? But they saw that the, the stone was rolled away and when they went inside, they found none. They found nothing. Wala po sila natapuan. Hindi wala po silang nakita. Amen? And, pero, and oh, na, ang nakita po nila at namit nila ay isang man dressed in white. Ito po ay anghel ng Panginoon. And he gave them the good news. He is risen. He is risen. Amen? The Bible specifically commands us to remember the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. But the world seems uh, distracted and sidelined. Sapagat ang mundo po, ang bigger celebration ay ang Christmas. Di ba? There's so many fanfare. Ang dami pong mga elaborate practices and customs commemorating Christmas or the birth of Jesus Christ. But actually, Jesus Christ never commanded us to remember His birth. Amen? But He, he, he specifically commanded us he said, do this in remembrance of me. In the Last Supper, when they were having their Last Supper, Jesus Christ was breaking bread. Amen? And the bread was a symbol of his body that was broken on the cross of Calvary. And while breaking the bread, he said, do this in remembrance of me. Ano raw po yung gagawin natin? Ano raw po yung maalalahanin natin? What will we remember? Ano po yung ating aalalahanin? Yung po bang Pasko? Yung po bang mga kapanganakan niya nung siya'y naipanganak doon sa, sa Bethlehem bilang isang sanggol? That is a joyous celebration. But more than that, the Bible specifically commands us to remember the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Amen. And so this should have been, amen, the, the, the bigger celebration, yung Easter Sunday. Pero ano po ang nangyayari? Di ba? Lahat kayo nasa beach. Everybody is on the beach. Everybody is on vacation. Everybody is relaxing. Do we even have the time to reflect on the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ? Amen po ba? Pero hindi. Man has been so sidelined. Hindi po kasi natin na-realize yung kahalagahan ng kapag kabuhay na maguli ng ating Panginoon. Amen? But today, I will not preach much about the resurrection because there is nobody here who doubts resurrection. Amen? Meron ba dito nagdududa na nabuhay talaga si Jesus? Ay sino nga naman kasi ang gagawa nun? Amen? Meron bang ganun? Namatay pero pagkatapos ng tatlong araw nabuhay? 
Is there anybody who has done that? Amen. He died, but after three days, he rose and until now, alive in heaven. In history, who has done that? Even the, the great men of uh, men of history, great men of history and great men of Christianity, marahil kahit ang mga taong ito ay hindi po nila nagawa yung ginawa ni Jesus Christ. Only Jesus Christ was able to do that. Amen? The, siya po ay namatay, pero pagkatapos ng pagkatapos ng tatlong araw, siya po ay nabuhay mula sa mga patay. Amen? And maybe, that is the greatest miracle ever. Amen po ba? Amen. Alabitin mo nga yung katabi mo, sabi mo, do you believe in miracles? Naniniwala ka ba sa Himala? Hindi yung basta-basta lang yung mala, ah, kasi maraming tao, iba-iba uh, ang pagkakaunawa sa Himala. Eh. Ba, yung mala, mumiti ka ngayon. <laughs> di ba? Ba, yung mala, tumayo ka sa harapan, di ba mahihain ka? Ba, yung, may, aba, yung mala, ang bait mo yata ngayon, ano ba nakain mo? <laughs> Maganda yata yung gising mo, di ba? So, bukang bibigla din yung Himala eh. Pero alam po ba natin kung anong ibig sabihin ng Himala? Ang, ang ibig sabihin ng Himala ay isang pangyayaring beyond your comprehension. It is something, miracle is something that is unexplainable. Miracle is something that is incomprehensible. Miracle is something that is unfathomable. It has no natural explanation. It has no scientific explanation. It has no human explanation. Amen? That is a miracle. And the greatest miracle of all is the resurrection of Jesus Christ. This is the one that I'm telling, saying about miracle. Amen? No, wala na po siguro makakapantay sa ganitong klase ng Himala. Namatay tapos na buhay. Kasi wala pang nakagawa na, hindi po ba? Nobody has ever done that. Amen? Merong isang uh, tao, gusto niya magtayo ng relisyon, gusto niya maraming followers, gusto niya maraming sumambas o maraming sumunod sa kanya at maniwala sa kanya. Pero ang taong ito, he's a Frenchman, sabi niya, how? How can I uh, establish a religion where people will follow me? People will believe in me. At ang meron pong nagpayo sa kanya, maybe... You kill yourself, you bury yourself, and then after the third day, you rose, you rise again from the dead. Then maybe people will follow you. Amen? Gawin mo sa sarili mo, magpakamatay ka, pagkatapos ng tatlong araw, mabuhay ka mula sa mga patay. Sigurado, marami susunod sa'yo. Amen? Pero nobody can duplicate what Jesus has done. Amen po ba? Amen. So, mabalik tayo sa, sa Himala. Sabi ko kanina, do you believe in miracles? Naniniwala po ba tayo sa Himala? At ang sinasabi ko pong Himala, eh, hindi yung mga ordinary yung Himala. Not those ordinary miracles wherein, yung nga, yung sinasabi natin, na, ba Himala, naligo ka ngayon. Amen? But what I'm saying is that something that has no explanation Something that has no human or natural explanation. One that does not happen every day. One that, that, that does happen very rarely. One that is very hard to believe. One that is like the resurrection of Jesus Christ. That kind of miracle. Meron ka bang hinihingi sa buhay mo? Parang imposible. Kasi parang... Kahit anong mangyari, parang imposible talaga mangyari. Naunawa niyo ba ako? Kinakailangan natin maunawaan yung death of the meaning of the resurrection of Jesus Christ for you to be able to believe in miracles. Amen? Amen po ba? Nakaka-bless po ang Panginoon. Meron po akong pinsan na matagal na sila nagantay ng baby. Five or six years na yata silang kasal. I'm not sure. Pero naalala nyo few weeks ago, meron kong word of knowledge dito. Kinakausap ko yung, yung uh, 
yung cellphone na nagre-record sa akin. Kasi ang lakas na impression sa akin ng Lord na answered prayer ka na. Magkaka-baby kayo. Amen? Nauna, na sino po ba yung nakakaalala nun? Yung ganong word of knowledge. Naalala nyo may ganong word of knowledge? At kanina, I want to reinforce again. God has done a miracle in your life. God has fixed the womb. God has made you fertile. And so the answers to your prayer has come. Shiki alabakan darabakan. That was a few weeks ago. Nung isang araw, nag-email yung pinsan ko. Nanunood siya pag, ano, kasi nagko-comment siya sa Facebook eh. Amen. Ayan, nanunood siya ng preaching. At alam ko, para sa kanya yun. I know and I know in my heart, para sa kanya yun. Ang lakas ng impression eh. At nung isang araw po nag-email siya sa akin, pregnancy test positive. Wow. Amen. Wala po ba kayong mga kamay? Pinagdala niya sa akin yung picture ng asawa niya, nagpapacheck up siya sa doktor. Yung pong pinakahihintay-hintay nila, sinagot ng Panginoon. Amen? Two weeks na pong buntis yung asawa niya. At humihingi sila ng prayer na patuloy na ito ingatan ng Panginoon hanggang mailuwal ng maluwalhati. Sapagkat sabi niya, malang sabi niya, pagdating ng panahon, kasama ko yung asawa ko at yung baby ko, tatayo kami dyan sa kingdom, hahawak ng mikropono sa harapan at ipapatutuo ko ang kabutihan ng Diyos sa amin. Sapagkat siya po ay sinagot ng Panginoon. Amen? Tampunan na po siya ng tukso kasi ano siya eh? Oo, ano siya eh? Malaking tao, brusko, macho, pero walang anak. Amen? At tuwing nakikita kami ba na, pag-pray mo ha, ganyan, tulad yung sinasabi sa amin. Amen? Huwag kang susuko. Hintayin mo lang darating ang perfect time ng Lord. At dumating nga ang perfect time ng Lord. Amen? Kinonfirm sa word of knowledge at ngayon po ay may baby na po sila. Palakpakan nga ako natin ang Panginoon. Yan po ang himala. Amen? Yung mga bagay na hindi mo na mapaniwala ang mangyayari, pero nangyayari. Pero alam niyo po ba, kung merong mga bagay na, na mahirap paniwalaan, yan ang dahilan kung bakit may mga taong uh, nagda-doubt. Amen? Kasi, Mahirap nga namang paniwalaan eh because it, miracle is something that is unexplainable as I said. At sa Bible, meron pong isang lalaki na ang buhay niya ay ipinapangaral bilang du si Mr. Duda. Diba? Siya raw po ay si Duda Duda. Ang pangalan po niya ay si Thomas. Si Tomas. Amen? Okay. So si Tomas po ay matatagpuan natin sa John chapter 20. Okay, sa John chapter 20, 24 to 29. Now, Thomas, also known as Didymus, one of the twelve was not with the disciples when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Oh, unless I see the nail marks in his hands and put my finger where the nails were and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. A week later, his disciples were in the house again, and Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. And then he said to Thomas, Hey, put your finger here. See my hands? Reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. And Thomas said to him, My Lord and my God. And then Jesus told him, Because you have seen me, you have believed. But blessed are those who have not seen, and yet they believe. Amen? Si Thomas po, pinapangaral siya lagi as Thomas the Doubter. Ang, si Thomas na duda-duda. Amen? Ang pangalan po niya ay Thomas. And little is known about Thomas. But he is one of the twelve disciples, but nothing more has been you know, said upon him or about him in the Bible. Pero meron ibang ilang mga versikulo na nagsasabi, sino ba siya? Sino ba si Tomas? So pag-aalala natin ngayon ang buhay ni Tomas, we will study the life of Tomas, we will know who this man is and why he is so maligned. <laughs> and uh, whenever the topic is about doubting, Tomas is always 
the favorite illustration, the favorite topic, the favorite sermon. Amen? But let us get to know more about Thomas. Are you ready? Amen. Let us. Pasensya na po kayo, masyadong marami akong i-English ngayon ha. Kasi meron po tayong ano eh, um, meron po akong kaibigan na Taiwanese. Sinesearch niya lahat ng mga preaching ko sa YouTube. Pinapanood niya. Sabi niya, hindi niya mapanood. Ay, hindi niya maintindihan kasi Tagalog. Amen? Pero, tinatamaan siya ng power. Sabi, sabi niya, you are good. Sabi niya, I can feel it. Sabi niya, pag nagtuturo raw, kahit hindi niya naiintindihan. Kasi sa ending, lagi ako nag... Di ba, may mga pastor tayo. Yung tinatamaan pa rin siya ng power ng Panginoon. Pero mas maganda sana, sabi na kung naiintindihan niya yung sinasabi ko. Eh, Tagalog eh. Amen. So, sabi ko, so na nga ako sa kanya, sige, sabi ko, I will preach, I will try to preach in English so that you can watch it. Yes, yes, please. Sabi niya, please, please try to preach in English because I am watching. He is searching. Nagsisearch po siya. And so, praise God. Sama-sama po tayong mag-aral. So, today, I will preach about Thomas. And um, yeah, he is called Thomas the Doubter. And uh, let us know and let us get to know the man. Who is Thomas? In John 20, now Thomas also known as Didymus. What is his other name? His other nickname? Didymus. Sancha kilala? Didymus. Didymus means twin. Tambal. So, number one info about Thomas, he has a twin. Very siyang kambal. Because the Bible says his other name is Didymus. And Didymus means a twin. But the Bible is silent whether who is his twin. Or whether it's a male twin or a female twin. But Thomas was also known as Didymus. He has a twin. Amen? Okay. Another verse by which the Bible speaks about Thomas is John 11. So John chapter 11, the account here was that Lazarus is dead. And Lazarus is dear to the heart of Jesus. He is a friend of Jesus. And so when Jesus has known that his friend Lazarus is dead, he wanted to go to Bethany. Because Lazarus is from Bethany. Bethany is a suburb of Jerusalem. And when Jesus made known his intention to go back to Bethany because his friend Lazarus is dead, his disciples were adamant in, in letting him know that, no, Jesus, do not go back. Don't you remember the last time you were in Jerusalem? They nearly killed you. The Pharisees and the leaders of the religion nearly killed you. They, they wanted to stone you to death. Don't you remember that? And now you want to go back to Jerusalem? Please, don't. So you can see the concern of the disciples. It's understandable. Amen? Maunawaan mo mga disciples eh. Concern lang sila. Baka nga naman patayin na naman siya sa ikalawang pagkakataon. And this time, baka hindi na siya makaligtas. And you see the concern of these disciples. They said, please don't go back, Jesus. We know you love Lazarus. But you know what happened the last time. You, were, you nearly got killed by those people, by the enemy, by those people who want to kill you. But John 11, 6. Kung meron kayo mga Bible, John chapter 11, verse 6. So, the scenario is that the disciples were reminding Jesus the last time when he went near Jerusalem, the leaders tried to stone him to death. And so it would be suicidal to go back. But at this point, Thomas spoke. John eleven six, and he said, Let us go. Let us go also that we may die with him. Sino po nagsasalita rito? Si Thomas. Anong sabi ni Thomas? Halika, samahan natin siya. Mamatay na kung mamatay. Amen. Amen. This is putting Thomas in a different light. Very far from John 20, when he was cast out as a doubter. Amen. 
because he was saying, no, I won't believe unless I put my nail, my hands, my fingers into the hole that was born in his in his arm and his uh, hands. Sino po si Tomas dito? Anong sabi niya? Let us go also that we may die with him. Here we see an apostle, a disciple that is willing to die for Jesus. He was willing to go back to Jerusalem, accompany Jesus, and is willing to face and confront whatever consequences that decision will, 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 will bring them. Amen po ba? So it is a very brief statement, one-liner, one sentence. Let us go with him that we may die with him. But it is a revelation of an enormous courage of a man who has been long taunted, maligned as a doubter. No, hindi po ordinary yung disciple si Thomas. He is not an ordinary disciple. He is willing to lay down his life for his master. He was willing to lay down his life for Jesus. He was willing to accompany Jesus in the edge of death. Amen? He said, no, let us go back. All the disciples were saying, don't go to Jerusalem. Don't go to Bethany. But Jesus, as, you know, on the sidelines, Thomas was just observing. Amen? But then, at the, in the end, hindi siya nakatiin. Sabi niya, ano ba kayo? Samahan natin siya. Amen. Kung kaya kailangan mamatay tayo, mamatay na tayong lahat. Kasama niya. Amen. What can you say about a man who says that? Anong masasabi mo sa isang tao ang gano'n ng mga pinagbibitawang salita? Amen? Will you belittle him? Pag, pagtatawanan mo ba siya? Hindi mo ba siya gagalangin? Hindi mo ba siya re-respetuhin? What can you say about a man who says, I will go with him even if I may lay down my life for him? Even if I may die for him, I will go with him. Let us go with him. Amen? Amen. Amen. Sinaway po niya anong sinabi ni, ni na Peter, ni na Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Lahat ng mga disciples, lahat sila ay hindi nakakaunaw at hindi nakakadama ng puso ni Jesus. Pero may isang, Tomas, na nagsabing, No, let us go with him, even if we may die with him. Amen? Amen. Amen. John 11.6 Hindi nyo alam yun, ano? Hindi natin alam yun, ano? Na meron isang Tomas na Handang magsabi, if they kill him, they will have to kill me too. Dadaan muna sa bangkay ko ang papatay sa kanya. Ako muna ang unang mamamatay. Hello? Anong tawag mo sa taong ganyan? Duwag ba yan? Hello? Anong tawag mo sa taong ganyan? Matapang. Amen? This man has enormous courage. This man has enormous courage and integrity that he is willing to lay down his life for his master. This man is sensitive to the heart of his master because he feels the heart of Jesus. He feels the will of God. Na nakakaalam siya, nakakaramdam siya. Amen? And hindi lamang siya nanahimik. Sabihin mo natin lahat, hindi nanahimik. He did not keep quiet. But he said to the other disciples, Shut up. Let us go with him. And if we may die with him, so be Amen. 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 And so Thomas, you can see there is love. Meron doon, may love doon eh. May, ano pa, loyalty. Meron despair. Meron sacrifice. Willing to sacrifice. But most of all, meron total commitment. Sabihin na natin lahat, total commitment. Total commitment. But it seems like Thomas is the most misunderstood of all the disciples. Amen? He is always preached as the man, the, the doubter. Amen? But there is more to Thomas, mga kapatid. And I pray na sa araw na to, yung buhay niya, despite his moments of weakness, despite his moment of uh, frailty, we will learn something from him. Something positive, something that we can go on with our lives with. Amen po ba? Amen. So, we can see there that, G that Thomas has enormous courage. Sabihin mo natin lahat, matapang. matapang. Courageous. So, that is in John 11. 
Sa John chapter 14, we can see that Jesus Christ was in the upper room. Jesus Christ and the disciples knew that the you know, the countdown to the end is nearing. And so in the upper room, Jesus Christ was with the disciples. And in the upper room, they were, uh, they knew, they knew in their hearts na malapit na talagang mawala sa kanila si ang Panginoong Jesus. They knew in their hearts that uh, uh, before the crucifixion, it was Thursday night, Thursday night before Good Friday, they were in the upper room, and Jesus was washing the disciples' feet and have given them the command to love one another, and that it was also the time when G Judas left and did his own thing. Amen? Alam nyo na yun, di ba? Ang ginawa ni Judas, pinagkanulo niya si Jesus, he sold Jesus Christ for 30 pieces of silver. And so Judas left the room to do his dirty tricks and dirty deed, but the rest of the disciples crowded around Jesus because they knew that the end was near. The next day he will be crucified. And so they did not want to, to uh, depart from the presence of Jesus Christ. All these loyal men, all these loyal disciples. And in, G and, and in John 14, Jesus was saying, John, John 14, 1 to 4, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God. Trust also in me, because in my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you. But I am going there to prepare a place for you. If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, so that you may also be where I am. You know the way to the place I am going. John 14, 1, 4. Sino nagsasalita? Si Jesus. Jesus was giving his last of his mga habilin. Amen? And he was comforting his disciples. He was comforting his disciples saying, do not let your hearts be troubled. I am going away because I am going to prepare a place for you, a mansion in heaven. But one day I will come back and take you to be with me. And Jesus said in his last statement, he said, you know the way to the place where I am going. And Thomas was there. And he might be listening intently, quietly, carefully. All this talk that Jesus was saying, maybe you mga disciples, hindi siguro nila masyadong naiintindihan. Ano ko ano sinasabi ni Jesus? Amen? Kasi halo-halo na, lungkot. Halo-halo na lahat ng mga nararamdaman nila. Kaya hindi nila marahil masyado naiintindihan. But, you know, John chapter 14 verse 5, eto na naman. Sino nagsasalita? Thomas blurted out. Sino dito ang nagsasalita? Thomas. John 14 verse 5. Lord, we don't know where you are going. So how can we know the way? Sino po nagsasalita dito? Thomas. Thomas. Thomas said, Lord, hindi namin alam kung saan ka pupunta. So paano namin malalaman kung saan nga kami pupunta? Amen? You can see here a man with his total honest heart. Nakikita po natin na para siyang bata, di ba? Na hindi ko naiintindihan eh. E di tatanungin ko, Lord, ano ba yung pinagsasabi mo? Hindi nga namin alam kung saan ka pupunta eh. Paano ka namin susundan? Here we see a totally honest man in his most inquisitive self. Thomas dared to speak out. Maybe the other disciples were also the same. Grogi sila, hindi nila nauna one. They would not exactly understand what Jesus was talking about, but they were just keeping quiet. But one was brave enough to speak out and say, Hey, Lord, di ko alam kung saan ka pupunta. Ano ba sinasabi mo? Paano kita susundan? Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? John 14, 5. It is an honest statement because indeed, he cannot understand. He doesn't understand. Alam niyo po ba na merong dalawang taong nakikinig? Meron yung taong nakikinig, kagaya natin na nakikinig, hindi nila naiintindihan yung pinapakinggan nila, pero pinapakinggan lang nila at wala, and I, they let it pass. They don't do something about it. Amen? Pero si Thomas, hindi. Hindi niya naiintindihan yung sinasabi niya. Hindi siya mananahimik. Magsasalita siya. Lord, ano yung sinasabi mo? 
Alin tayo dun sa dalawa? Nagpap nagpapanggap tayo na iintindihan natin? Ah, patangu-tangu pa tayo? Ah, ganun ba yun? Pero hindi pala talaga natin na iintindihan. O kagaya tayo ni Tomas, na tapat, honest, amen, na sinasabi niyang hindi niya na iintindihan. Amen? Dahil kapag naging honest ka at tapat ka at sinabi mo hindi mo naiintindihan, ipapaintindi ng Panginoon. Amen? Ipapaintindi ng Diyos ang mga bagay na hindi mo naiintindihan. Kinakailangan mo lang munang aminin na hindi mo naiintindihan. Amen po ba? Amen. Amen. And Thomas was exactly like that. The, the other disciples kept quiet and they never dared to ask Jesus what is the meaning of what he was saying. But Thomas was blurting out in an honest, in the most sincere and honest way, Lord, we don't know what you are, where you are going. So how can, when we, can we know the way? So we can see here a man who is an independent thinker, a thoughtful man, a thinking man, an analytical man. Nagka, meron, po siyang, meron po siyang sariling pag-iisip hindi siya sunod-sunod sa mga kagaya ng iba na kapag tahimik, tahimik sunod-sunod lang Amen? kahit di naman naiintindihan pero si Tomas magsasalita siya kasi hindi niya naiintindihan and that was where he was coming from he was not easily swayed by the by the people, by the, by 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 other people, he is an independent-minded man, and so whatever he wants to say and whatever he wants to ask, he would ask, and he would not make a confession of faith unless he deeply believes in it. Kaya alam niyo po ba yung mga greatest doubter sila yung mga greatest believer. Sa pagkat ang mga greatest doubter nag-iisip yan, amen. Nag-aaral yan, pinag-aaralan nila, sinasaliksik nila. At gusto nilang pumunta sa kaibuturan at kailaliman ng katotohanan. Amen? At yan po si Tomas. He is a doubter, yes, but his doubt led him to truth. His, he was a doubter, yes, but his doubt led him to a total devotion and commitment to Christ. Amen? His doubt led him to Jesus, his doubt led him to know more about Jesus and so he kept on saying, where is the way? You keep on saying, where is the way? Amen? He was asking. Siya po ay nagtatanong. Amen? Amen? And it was a totally honest question. It was a totally valid, honest question. Amen po ba? Amen. Amen. Kaya kung dumating man sa punto ng buhay natin na kagaya ni Tomas, tayo po ay nagkaroon ng mga katanungan Amen? Huwag po tayong makukundi na and let us not condemn other people. Ang problema kasi sa mga kristyanong iba, wala po dito nun nun, kala nila, alam na nila lahat ng bagay. Amen? At uh, we, we, nagkakaroon ng iba, nagkakaroon ng ang mga iba ng impression ng mga kristyano parang know it all. Amen? Parang planchado lahat. Amen? Walang room for doubt and unbelief. Kaya naman, yung mga doubt and doubters and skeptics, hindi na sila pumupunta ng church. Kasi para sa kanila, wala namang lugar dyan ang mga doubters and skeptics kagaya ko at mga ateistang kagaya ko. Pero hindi. Amen? Sa, sa iglesia ng Panginoon, may lugar para sa lahat. Sa mga duda-duda, sa mga nagdududa at nagdududa. Kagaya ni Tomas. Sapagkat kung nasaan ka, aabutin ka ng Panginoon. Aabutin ka ng Diyos kung nasaan ang level mo. Amen? Amen. God will stoop down to you. God will reach out to you and let you understand what you do not understand. Now, are you honest enough to admit that you don't understand? Amen! Because if you are like Thomas, honest enough, amen, to admit that he doesn't understand, then God will let you understand. Amen, Puma? So his faith, his faith, was a product of his own personal struggle of his inner demons of doubts and unbelief. Amen? He was honest enough to admit that, hey, mababa ang faith ko. 
Mababaw ang faith ko. I do not understand many things. But I am willing to learn if you just let me learn. Amen po ba? Amen. Amen. So, Thomas' faith was founded on that. Amen? Para sa maraming tao, kukundinahin nila. Ano ka ba? Puro ka duda. Puro ka walang pananampalataya. Amen? Purihin ang Panginoon sa mga matataas ang pananampalataya. Purihin ang Diyos. Amen? Kasi ganun kataas ang pananampalataya nila. Ganun katatag sila. Pero purihin din ang Panginoon sa buhay ng mga kagaya ni Tomas na madaling masway at madaling magtanong. Amen? At madaling magduda. Amen? Sapagkat ang Diyos, mahal pa rin sila. Amen? Amen? Ipapaunawa. So, Thomas, Thomas' faith was a product, ito, pakinggan nyo, was a product of his own personal agony and struggle. Yun talaga siya eh, yun ang personality niya. Kukundinahin mo ba? So, yan po si Thomas. Pero yung good side niya, di ba makikita natin kanina, he was a man of enormous courage, and he was a man who knew how to ask the right question. Okay. Kung titignan po natin ang isa pang um, uh, situation kung saan uh, Thomas was already, ito, ito na yung epitome ng kanyang pagiging doubter. Sa John chapter 20, yung binasa natin kanina. Okay, so he was completely honest about his doubt, about his confusion, and about his fears. And uh, he won't be satisfied with second-hand answers. He keep on searching, he keep on asking. Now, let us go to the Easter morning when Jesus Christ rose from the dead and the news spread out that he has risen from the dead. Alam niyo po ba sa Mark chapter 16? Yung binasa natin kanina, Mark chapter 16, verse 11, when they heard that Jesus was alive, sino yung they? The disciples. Yung mga loyal followers ni Jesus Christ. When they heard that Jesus was alive and that she had seen him, they did not believe him. They did not believe it. Amen? Yung mga babae pupunta, sina Magdalene, sina Mary Magdalene, sina Mary, saka sina Salome, they spread na. Sinabi nila na nakita namin, empty yung tomb. Jesus Christ is not there. And that angel said, He is risen. Ano pong sabi sa Mark 16, 11? They did not believe. Amen? Noong una, hindi naniwala ay mga disciples. Amen? Eh, sino nga naman ang maniniwala? Hirap paniwalaan nun. Eh, nakita nila eh. They saw with their own eyes Jesus Christ was crucified. And Jesus Christ died on the cross. And Jesus Christ was laid on the tomb. Siya po ay inilibing. Amen? Ikaw, imagine yourself in that situation. 2,000 years ago, bumalik kayo dun sa ganong eksena. Easter morning, nandun kayo. Nakita nyo, nung ipinako si Jesus sa cross. Nagkaroon kayo ng pagkakataong ma-witness ang greatest event in history, which is the crucifixion of Jesus Christ on the cross. But then, three days after, morning, Sunday, ng Sunday morning, you heard the news, Jesus Christ is alive. How would you react? Hello, honestly. Pa pag na 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 laman mo, narinig mo yung kwento, narinig mo yung balita, huy, wala na raw laman yung ano, yung uh, tomb, libigan, buhay na raw si Jesus Christ. He is risen. He is alive. Hello, honestly speaking, paano kayo mag-relax? How will you react? Will you say, hallelujah, buhay si Jesus? Ganun ba yung reaction nyo? Ano? Talaga? Di ba? Maniwala ako. <laughs> Nakita ko siyang namatay. Maniwala ako. And so, if, kung ganun ang reaction nyo, you are in good company because even the disciples, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Amen, Zebedee, lahat po sila, they did not believe at first. Amen? But then, John 20, ito sa pinasa natin kanina, Jesus came in. Amen? At ang sabi ni Jesus, 
So the disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. And so Jesus said, Peace be with you. Di ba ang sabi ng Panginoon sa kanila? Peace be with you. Peace be with you at kinausap. And then, naniwala sila. But then, Thomas, anong nangyari pala yun? One of the twelve was not with the disciples when Jesus came. Sino yung one of the twelve? Si, si, Tom, Thomas. si Thomas. He was not with the disciples. Nung unang nagpakita si Jesus, wala si Thomas doon. Nasaan kaya siya? Amen? Nasaan kaya siya? Eh, lahat ng mga kasama niyang disciples nandoon. Nasaan kaya siya? Siya ang wala. Siya lang ang wala. Amen? Kapag ikaw ay dumaranas ng pighati, kapag ikaw ay dumaranas, if you are going through a painful experience, pain, uh, loss, a great loss, you can either have of these two reaction. You can be like disciple na nagtitipon-tipon kayo finding solace and comfort from each other. Amen? Or you can be like Thomas na lumalayo, nag-iisa, at umiiyak mag-isa. Amen? Akin lang yun ha. Kasi wala si Thomas sa grupo dito eh. Bakit kaya siya lang ang wala? All of the disciples were together. But only Thomas was not with them. And I, ito lang, akin lang to, because he was so devastated. He saw it all. He he went through the pain. He went through the pain of nagsaksihan ang kamatayan ng kanyang master on the cross. It was so hard for him. Amen? Napakabigat sa kanyang tanggapin yun at dalhin yun. And he was so devastated that his way It's not just like others that they kumpul-kumpul at nagpapalakasan and they comfort each other. Iba siya eh. Sabi nga ako natin lahat, iba siya. Iba siya. Ganon din tayo, di ba? Iba-iba tayo ng reaction sa mga bagay-bagay. Hindi mo pwede kumpul sa sister sa ganito. Bakit ka ganyan? Eh, ganyan talaga siya eh. Yun ang kanyang paraan ng pag-confront sa fear niya, sa anger niya, sa kanyang, uh, sa kanyang uh, sadness and loneliness, yun ang kanyang paraan. And Thomas, ganun siya. Hini, humiwalay siya, amen? Humiwalay siya at sinusolo niyang dinadala yung kanyang pighati. He was going through a painful thing being able to witness the death of Jesus Christ. And now, when Jesus Christ showed himself to his disciples he was not there. Wala po siya doon. Siya, po, siya lang po yung bukod tanging wala doon sa upper room. E, ay, do, oh, doon sa mga pinagtitipunan ng mga uh, disciples. And so, when that happened, the disciples did not believe at first. Not the disciples. Actually, the disciples were not expecting it also. Hindi rin siguro nila inaasahan na si Jesus Christ babahon mula sa mga patay. Actually, yung mga kalaban nga ni Jesus Christ ang may inaasahan may mangyayari yung hindi maganda marahil eh. Kasi sila yung nagpatakit talaga doon ng malaking bato eh. Para sigurado hindi makalabas si Jesus eh. Yung mga kalaban ni Jesus. Pero yung mga disciples, hindi nila nila inisip yun. Amen? Hindi po nila inisip yun. Ang ang iniisip nila, malungkot sila kasi iniwanan sila ni Jesus Christ. Amen? No kanilang Amen. master. Jesus Christ left them. And so, the disciples were, when the first, the first, at the first sight of Jesus, when Jesus Christ rose from the dead, they did not believe. His friends were not expecting. But in Mark 16, when the women, when the women came to, uh, see that yes indeed Jesus Christ was risen from the dead Mark 16 11 says they did not believe the disciples did not believe and when in John 20 Jesus Christ appeared to the disciples Thomas was not present on that Sunday evening when Jesus appeared in their midst the Bible doesn't say why pero sabi ko nga marahil he was so He was so overwhelmed with grief and pain. So he sick solace, not in the company of friends, but by himself alone, by his lonesome. 
And so, ganun nga rin po tayo, di ba? Meron tayong iba't ibang paraan ng pag-confront ng grief natin. Kung minsan gusto natin, meron tayong laging kausap. Pero iba, ayaw nilang may kausap, gusto nila nag-iisa lang sila. Kasi yun ang paraan nila ng pag-confront sa grief nila. And Thomas, ganun siya. Ganun po siya. Nag-iisa siya. And so, we can see here that he was very deeply hurt when Jesus Christ left and died. So his heart had been crushed. Everything that he had and he had witnessed, everything was gone. And Jesus is dead. But he loves and cares for Jesus. That's why his heart was broken. At tayong lahat dumating sa ganong pagkakataon, di ba? Uh, pag dumarating tayo sa kalungkutan, pighati, meron tayong struggle. Sometimes you are like Thomas. Amen? And people do not understand us. Di ba? Hindi, they, people judge us. Kasi napakataling mag-judge sa ibang tao eh. Amen? Gusto nila ilagay tayo sa kahon at doon tayo, kumilos tayo ayon sa nais nila at ayon sa gusto nila. Pero si Thomas, iba siya eh. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, independent-minded siya eh. Independent thinker siya eh. He doesn't care. Amen? So, ayun yun, sige, magsama-sama kayo. Ako, basta ako, gusto ko, ako lang mag-isa na nagigrieve. I want to be alone grieving for my master. I want to be alone. Sino solo ko to? Kaya ko to. Kakayanin ko to. Yung kalungkutan ko. Amen? And so when Jesus Christ appeared, He was not there. And so when people said to Him, He said, I do not believe. We have seen the Lord the disciples told him, but he said to them, Unless I see the nail marks in his hands and put my finger where the nails were and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. And so a week later, his disciples were in the house again. And Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them. Nakalock daw yung door, ha? Pumasok si Jesus, hindi niya binuksan. Amen? Walang, walang, hindi niya binuksan yung ano, pumasok siya. At saan kayo nakakita na gano'n? Kaya nga sabi, multo raw siya eh. Ghost siya eh. Because the doors were locked, but he came inside. How did you go inside? Without opening. The doors were locked. Amen? And then he said, eto, andito na si, si, ano, after one week. Andito na si Thomas. Peace be with you. And then he said to Thomas, Thomas, put your finger here. Wala si Thomas noon ha, nung uh, sinabi ni, nung nagpakita si Jesus noong una. Paano niya, na, pa, wala si Jesus na narinig niya yun, pero alam ni Jesus na, na sabi ni, ni Thomas, unless I put my finger in the hole of the nails where uh, he was crucified, I will not believe. And so Jesus said to Thomas, put your finger here. See my hands? Reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. And Thomas said to him, My Lord and my God. Amen? Marami ang nagsasabing si, si, uh, si Thomas po ay doubter. But Thomas might be a doubter, but his doubt is coming from his being a broken man. His doubt is coming from being yung ang dami na niyang pinagdaanan. Kaya ngayon, sabi niya, dami ko na nakita at pinagdaanan. I am so overwhelmed with grief and pain na maniniwala lang ako kapag nakita ko na si Jesus na nga yung nasa harapan ko. Amen? I have been through so much pain. I have been broken because of the experience. And I don't have the energy na magipaglokohan sa inyo. Hindi ako naniniwala. Maniniwala lang ako pag nakita ko na. Pag na naisuot ko yung mga daliri ko sa butas ng kanyang mga kamay, saka lang ako maniniwala. So it is not that he is doubting because he have seen many miracles for him to doubt. You know, maybe to that kind of doubt. Amen? He was doubting because he was so exhausted. Pagod na pagod na siya. Drain na drain na siya. Amen? Emotionally, he, was, he has been through so much that now 
is not ready amen to hear something preposterous something unbelievable something unexplainable ano bang sinasabi mo nakita kong namatay siya ano bang pinagsasabi mo sa akin tumahimik ka nga maniniwala lang ako kapag nakita ko ng dalawang mata ko at naisuot ko yung mga daliri ko Amen? Thomas was not a skeptic he is willing to believe as long as he sees Amen? Willing naman siya na maniwala basta makita niya at mapatotohanan niya Amen? And did Jesus condemn Thomas? Sinabi ba ni Jesus, Ikaw, Thomas, ha? Narinig kita, ha? Pinagdudahan mo ako. Sabi mo, hindi ka maniniwala. Malibang maipasok mo. Hindi. Sabi ni Jesus, Peace be to you. Amen? Peace be with you. And said, Thomas, halika, ipasok mo. Thomas, halika, ipasok mo. Amen? Jesus did not condemn Thomas. Pero yung mga preacher, ako, guilty ako dito. Way back, maraming taon na ang nakaraan, pre-meets ko ito. And I was preaching Thomas in a bad light. Amen? Giving him, giving his image to the people as a doubter, as a skeptic. But now I realized and repented, no. Thomas was coming from a valid position and his position is brokenness, despair, hopelessness, sadness, loneliness. Kaya niya nasabi yung mga yun. Amen po ba? Amen. And it's okay. Sabihin mo natin lahat, it's okay. it's okay. Okay lang. Amen po ba? Na minsan, maging kagaya tayo ni Thomas and blurt out, Lord, bagot na ako eh. Pwede ba? Makita ko naman yung preba. Hello? Hello? Amen. Amen po ba? Amen. Amen. Sabihin mo natin lahat, it's okay. It's okay. Kasi maraming mga super Christian. Amen? Pinoproject nila ang Christianismo ay perfecto. Amen? We are aiming to be perfect because God is perfect. Amen? But we are a process. We are a work in progress. Amen? At kagaya ni Tomas, we come to a point of honesty and uh, We come to a point of frailty and a weakness wherein we say, I'm so weak to believe that Jesus Christ rose from the dead. But if I can see it with my own eyes, if I can put my fingers, I will believe. So Thomas was not an unbeliever. Kaya hindi dapat siya kinukondem. But he was an honest man. Amen po ba? Willing to admit his weakness, willing to admit His uh, frailty, willing and honest to admit yung kanya pong uh, kahinaan. Amen po ba? At sa kanyang point of frailty and weakness, Jesus did not condemn him. Amen? Amen. 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 Jesus did not condemn him. But he said, Thomas, ilagay mo yung mga kamay mo. Halika na, ilagay mo. Amen. Minsan, ganun po ang mga maraming kristyano, hindi tayo pare-pareho ng pananampalataya. Kung ganyan siya, huwag mo siyang kukundinahin. Amen? Hilahin mo siya at ibangon mo siya, halika, ipasok mo. Nang maraman mo, nang maranasan mo. Amen po ba? Amen. Na, meron po ba tayong natututunan? Amen. Kasi nga, dumating sa punto ang pre ko si Thomas, iba yung pag preach ko sa kanya eh. I was condemning him and I was maligning him and I was insulting him and I was putting him into bad light that he was a doubter na hindi dapat tularan. Amen? But now, I realized and, and, and saw Thomas in a different light. He, was, he is actually a courageous man. Amen? Sabi niya, Jesus Christ, I'm going to go with you in, in, in Bethany. Amen? And whatever happens, I will lay down my life for you. Amen? Bago ka nila mapatay, ako muna. Amen? He actually is a courageous man. Amen? He actually is an honest man. He, he was asking honest questions. He was asking legitimate questions. Amen? Because he wanted to learn. 
You wanted to go deeper. Amen. Gusto mong gusto mong matuto? Magtanong ka. Gusto mong matuto? Mga bagay na akala mo malang kwentang tanong, yung pala yan ang magdadala sa iyo sa katotohanan. Amen po ba? And Thomas was exactly like that. Thomas gave his heart. Amen? And in his moment of weakness when he said, I will never believe unless I put my nails, uh, I, I put my fingers on the hole of his hands, then I will believe. Amen? Yung po kanyang, yung po kanyang karanasan ay isang honest na karanasan. Amen po ba? Amen. And, and Thomas was na, was never a, a, a skeptic. Meron po kasing dalawang mga na, nagdududa. Yung nagdududa na talagang nagdududa lang dahil uh, gusto lang makipag-debate. Ayaw, ayaw, talagang, ayaw talagang tumanggap ng katotohanan. Yung mga pariseyo, ganito sila. Amen. Nagdududa sila at kahit anong paliwanag mo sa kanila, wala na sila mga. Oo, hindi na talaga sila tatanggap ng katotohanan. But, but uh, Thomas was a different kind of doubter because his doubts sprang from his heart. Amen? Yung kanyang pagdududa ay nagmumula sa kaibuturan ng kanyang puso. It was an honest, you know, honest expression of who himself before God. Amen? Amen. Naunawa, no ba niya ako? Amen. O, na... <laughs> Naunawaan niyo ba kung anong gusto mo iparating? Naintindihan niyo ba yung buhay ni Thomas? Na gusto ko siyang makilala niyo sa ibang, sa ibang pagkakakilala? Then it's okay. Sabihin mo natin lahat, it's okay. It's okay na sabihin mong mahina ka o meron kang, o meron kang mga katanungan. Amen? Okay lang yun. Oo. Nagiging honest ka lang sapagkat kapag nagtanong, merong kasagutan. Thomas's doubt sprang from a broken heart. He was another kind of doubter. The person who would say, I do not believe, but I am willing to believe if I can see for myself with my own eyes. Thomas fits in this category. He is not an unbelieving skeptic. He is a wounded believer. Amen? He was a broken man because of what he saw in Jesus. And so he was just honestly expressing what he felt. Thomas didn't doubt the miracles of Jesus. Remember, he was with him when he was doing those miraculous things. He had seen many of Jesus' greatest miracles, but this one was too big for them for him to comprehend. Napakabigat nito. Nabuhay siya muli. Sigurado ka ba? Pagod. Masyado na akong pagod para pansinin pa yung mga panluloko niyo sa akin. Masyado na akong malungkot para pansinin mo na nang dagdagan, pwede. Huwag nyo na akong lukohin, pwede. Kasi sobra na yung natag, pinagdadaanan ko eh. Naunawaan mo ba natin? Here is a broken, wounded man who is not willing to be fooled once again. Kaya sabi niya, pwede ba huwag nyo akong lukohin? Nakita ko siyang namatay nung biyernes. Tapos sasabihin nyo, ngayon buhay siya. Tama na, huwag nyo na akong lukuhin. Amen? Baka naman, multo lang yung nakita nyo. But he had to see it to believe it. And who could blame him? After what he has been through. So he was not an unwilling unbeliever. But he was willing to believe. But he is just unable to believe. Ito pa yun, di ba? He is willing to believe. But he is unable to believe. Amen? Gusto niya maniwala, kaya lang hindi na niya kayang maniwala. Na, dumating na ba kayo sa ganong punto? Na gusto mo naman eh, gusto mo naman talaga eh, kaya lang hindi mo na talaga kaya yung ganon. Hello? Amen. Kapag ganon na yung sitwasyon mo, kagaya ni Tomas, darating na si Jesus at sasabihin niya, peace be with you. Halika, ilagay mo na yung fingers dito sa butas ng kamay ko and stop doubting believe God will come to you ipapahiwatig niya mismo, ipapadama niya mismo magpapakita siya sa iyo mismo kung kinakailangan dahil wala ka na talaga plakda ka na wala ka na talaga energy, zero energy you don't even have the energy to believe you want to but you are unable 
Because you don't even have the energy. Wala na, naubos na eh. Sa dami ng labang pinagdaanan mo, sa dami ng sugat mo, sa dami ng pain, sa dami ng mga paghihirap na pinagdaanan mo, you don't even have the energy to believe. Sino nakaranas sila ng ganun? You just want to give up. Amen? And Thomas was like that. Uh, but in his time, sa lowest point ng buhay niya, dumating si Jesus at ang sabi niya, Peace be with you. Hello? Amen. Peace be with you. At aabutin ka niya kung ano ang gusto mo. Amen? Amen? Magpapakita siya sa iyo kung kinakailangan magpakita siya sa harapan mo. Hello? Huwag wag, wag mong sabihin matakot ka at sabihin mong multo ha. Kasi yun ang gusto mo. Gusto mo makita talaga si Jesus eh. Magpapakita siya sa iyo. Ganun ginawa niya kay Tomas eh. Pinasok niya. At ang sabi niya, ngayon magdududa ka pa ba? Manghihina ka pa ba? Eto inaabot na kita. Amen? Amen. Kapag tumating ka sa lowest point ng buhay mo, maging kagaya ka lang nito mas umamin ka at aabutin ka ng Diyos. Amen? Jesus Christ will come to you and say, Peace be with you, anak. Ipasok mo yung kamay mo nang maniwala ka. Amen? Stop doubting and believe. Kalabitin mo yung katabi mo, Stop doubting and believe. Jesus, Thomas just had to be sure that it was the same Jesus that he saw die. Gusto lang niyang matiyak eh. Na si Jesus nga yun. The same Jesus that he died, they saw die on the cross is the same Jesus that they are talking about. And it is not just a ghost. Amen. Na hindi lang multo. Amen. But it is the same Jesus that he saw die on the cross that they are talking about. And, uh, And, and Jesus was willing to reach him, reach out to him on that. So, uh, Thomas was willing to believe, but he was just unable to believe. Some people are satisfied with the testimony of others, some are not. Thomas was not. Hindi lamang siya contento sa mga sinasabi ng mga tao. Gusto niya makita niya mismo. Amen? And can you blame him? Hello? Masisisi mo ba siya? Eh, nakita niya si Jesus na matay sa cross eh. Grabe yung iyak niya eh. Naubos yung luha niya eh. Grabe yung lungkot niya eh. Nilalamukos yung puso niya eh. Sa sobrang kalungkutan. Masisisi mo ba siya? Amen. Kung sabihin niyang tumahimik nga kayo, hindi ako maniniwala malibang makita ko. Hindi ako maniniwala malibang maranasan ko. He did not rely on the testimony of others. He wanted to see it with his own eyes. Amen. He wanted to feel. He wanted to see and experience it with his own self. Amen po ba? Amen. And it's okay. Amen. Amen. Sabihin mo natin lahat, it's okay. It's okay. Huwag natin kukundinahin yung mga ganun nakikita natin sa buhay natin. At huwag din natin kundinahin ang sarili natin kung nakakaranas tayo magkaminsan ng ganun. Because it's okay. Sabihin mo natin lahat, it's, it's okay. okay. Hello? Ano ka ba, Pastor Raging? Ano ba yung pinipreach mo? Okay lang na mag-doubt? Okay lang na hindi ka maniwala? Ganun po ba ang ibig kong ipasaybatig sa inyo? Nainawaan nyo ka, di ba? Kasi matatalino kayo eh. Amen? Kagaya ni Tomas, he was not satisfied with the testimony of others but he wanted to see it by his own self. Did he doubt the truthfulness of others? No, he did not because these are, you know, trusted disciples, mga kasamahan niya ito. He did not doubt the truthfulness of the disciples but he knew they believed they had seen Jesus but that was not enough. Lots of people think that they see things. They could not get rid of their suspicions. He could not live with their second-hand faith. He had to see it for himself. So that's why he said, unless I touch his wounds, I will not believe. So there is much more to that doubt. There is love there. There is sorrow. There is brokenness. There is pain. There is the tiny grain of hope. 
and he was clinging to the tiny grain of hope that if only the tiny grain of hope can be confirmed by him seeing with his own eyes Jesus which is so died on the cross then it's okay okay na siya sold na siya doon amen amen, amen? at ano pong ginawa ni Jesus inabot ba siya ni Jesus amen, amen. because Thomas was not a skeptic he was a believer but he was just unable to believe because of this overwhelming situation yung pinagdaanan niya grabe amen amen po ba amen. grabe yung pinagdaanan niya he was in pain and he was desperate that he can only believe again if he is sure of what he can he is seeing so can you blame him masisisi niyo ba yung kung ganun siya Kaya ako, kaya dapat tayo, hindi tayo, may mga taong ganun, di ba, very quick to judge. Na bakit ganun, bakit ganun, ganun dyan, ganito, ganito, dapat ginadjudge din ako bakit ganun yung mga tao, kung bakit uh, sa sobrang kalukutan nila, nagagawa nila yung ganun. Amen? Kira, yung mga taong ganun, dalhin natin kay Jesus, kagaya, kagaya ng ginawa ni, ng mga disciples, dinala ni, nila si Thomas for the second time. And Jesus reached out to them. Jesus touched him. Amen? Inabot siya mismo ni Jesus Christ. Amen po ba? Jesus invited Thomas to see it for himself. He said, put your finger to see. And then reach out your hand and put it into my side. And stop doubting and believe. People will only stop doubting and believe when they will have this kind of experience. We should not look down on him, on them. We should not condemn them because their worries and their pain are legit. Valid yun. Yung hindi mo pwede yung i-cancel yun. Totoo yun eh. Naranasan nila yun. Amen po ba? Naranasan ng mga kapatid yun, ng mga kapat mo, ng mga nasa, nasa tabi mo. Kaya you don't have the right to condemn them. Ang gagawin mo lang, dalhin mo sila kay Jesus at sabihin mo, gusto mo bang maranasan? Ipasok din. Amen? At sino magdadala sa kanila doon? Tayo. Amen? Let them have the Thomas experience. Feel. Amen? See. Because unless they feel and they see, they will never believe. Jesus said, stop doubting and believe. And when Thomas Finally, inserted his fingers doon sa butas ng kamay ni Jesus, he stopped doubting and believed. And he said, nagpatira pa siya and said, My Lord and my God. Amen? My Lord and my God. Amen? All the doubts are gone. Amen? All the pain, all the sorrow, all the suffering, all the loneliness, of being separated from the Master our God and said, Oh my Lord and my God, you are real. Inabot mo ako, nagpakita ka sa akin. Amen. Nobody ever experienced that. Only Thomas. His doubt led him to Jesus. Amen. Amen. His doubt led him to a miraculous experience. His, death, his doubt led him to a greater faith. And no more shall he be shaken because he saw it with his own eyes and he experienced it with his own self. Amen po ba? Amen. Amen? Ganun po ang gawin natin sa mga tao maraming nagdududa at ganun din po ang gawin natin sa ating mga sarili kung tayo'y nagdududa. Lumapit tayo kay Jesus at sabihin natin, Lord, let me insert my finger into the hole of your hands. So that I will stop doubting and I will believe. Amen po ba? Amen. Amen. You can stop your doubt and you can stop your unbelief if you will have this kind of experience, the Thomas experience. Thomas' heart was raging. Amen? With all the different kinds of emotions. And so, Jesus Christ understood. Naunawaan ni Jesus. Naunawaan. Sabihin mo natin lahat na intindihan. 
Pag may lumalapit ba sa atin para magpa-counsel, naiintindihan ba natin yung pinagdadaanan nila? Naiintindihan ba? Nilalagay ba natin yung sarili natin sa sa position nila? Do we have empathy to put ourselves in their position and feel what they feel? Or we are quick to condemn and judge? Kau naman? Kaya-kaya mo yan. Lakas-lakas mo kaya. Amen. Purihin ang Panginoon sa mga matataas ang pananampalataya. Sabi ko nga, di ba? Pero purihin din ang Panginoon sa mga tumas. Amen. Hello? Amen. Sige po. Hindi masama po malak ko. Praise God for those who have great faith that they are unshakable. Amen. But praise God even more for the Thomas who are honest to admit that hey, I'm too exhausted to believe. I am, I, I am willing to believe but I am unable to believe. And so the grace of God comes to help you believe. And if need be that you have an experience na talagang magkaroon ka ng buhay na karanasan na kung kinakailangan magpakita si Jesus sa harapan mo, gagawin ni Jesus. Amen! Amen. Amen. Para ka lang ibangon! Para ka lang tanggalin sa pagdududa para alisin ang lahat ng mga doubt and unbelief sa buhay mo. God will do that. Jesus will do that. Amen! Just like what He did to, do, to Thomas. Hello! Amen. Naunawaan mo ba natin? Amen! Amen. Amen. Because Jesus understood Thomas. Naunawaan po niya si Thomas. Amen! At tayo rin naunawaan tayo ni Jesus. Amen po ba? Sa lahat ng ating mga kapalpakan, sa lahat ng ating mga kahinaan, sa lahat ng ating mga mga pagdududa at mga pag mga pag sasawalang bahala, lahat po yun ay naunawaan ni Jesus. Amen! Amen! Pero ang nais ng Panginoon, huwag tayong manatili dyan. Once and for all, stop the doubt, stop the unbelief. Magkaroon ka lang Thomas experience, ipasok mo. Lord, bigyan mo ako ng ganung karanasan. So that once and for all, I will stop doubting and I will stop my unbelief. Amen po ba? Amen. And Thomas did just that and yeah, siya po ay nakaranas noon. So, See for yourself, Jesus said, stop doubting and believe. And so here is the wonderful truth. Purihin ang Panginoon. Ang mga doubters na kagaya ni Tomas ay meron pong puwang sa kaharian ng Diyos. Amen. Amen. Doubters are welcome in the kingdom of God. Amen. Imbitahan nyo silang lahat. Huwag nyo silang itaboy. Amen. Imbitahan nyo sila at dalhin dito at maranasan nilang ipasok ang mga daliri nila sa kamay ng ating Panginoon. Amen po ba? Amen, Amen po ba? Amen. Amen. You will only stop and your doubt and unbelief when you will have the Thomas experience. So, our, ang ating Panginoon, naabutin niya kung saan tayo. Saan tayo mahina, ano man yung ating mga uh, pagdududa. He will come and check and say, Peace be with you. Put your fingers In the whole of my hands, stop doubting and believe. Amen. Amen. Kalapiti mo yung katabi mo, sabi mo, stop doubting and believe. Stop doubting and believe. Amen. At ang sabi doon, ang ganda nung ang ganda nung huling salita ng ating Panginoon eh, sa John chapter 20. John chapter 20, verse 29. Then, after Thomas ex, ex blurted out, My Lord and my God. Amen? Amen. When, G, when Thomas said, My Lord and my God, all the doubts are gone. Amen? Amen. All the pain is gone. All the sorrow is gone. Lahat po ng mga negatibo pinagdaanin ni Thomas na walang lahat. Amen. Amen! He said, My Lord and my God. My Lord and my God. And all the doubts are gone. And all the pain is gone. And all the sorrow is gone. And Thomas finally believed. And then Jesus told him, Because you have seen me, you have believed in me. But blessed are those who have not seen me, and yet they believe. Amen. And we are this. 
Tayo po ito. We belong to this category. Amen? We did not live 2,000 years ago. We did not have the chance to see Jesus in the flesh. We did not have the chance like Thomas to see Jesus in the dead and in, in the flesh and put his fingers in his hands. Amen? But blessed are we if we believe yet we did not see. Amen? Mapala daw yung mga naniwala kahit hindi nila nakita. Mapalad daw si Tomas kasi naniwala siya at nakita niya. Pero mas mapalad daw yung mga naniwala na hindi nakakita. Amen! Amen! Marami nagsasabing, napaka ano yung mga Kristiyano, bakit kayo naniniwala sa mga hindi nyo nakikita? Meron ba talagang Diyos? Nakita nyo ba ang Diyos? Bakit sinasabi nyo ang sabi ng Diyos? Nagsasalita ba ang Diyos? Amen! Skeptics will always say, Why do you believe in God? Have you seen God? Why do you believe? Why do you say God says? Have you have you heard God talk? Why do you say God said? God said. You know when you preach, God said. Why do you say that? Because the Bible says, "Blessed is he who believes, yet he did not see." Amen. 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 Blessed is Thomas because he has seen, but blessed are those who believe yet they did not see. Amen. Mapalad ka, hindi mo nakikita, hindi mo nakita. You have not seen, but yet you believe. You are blessed, saith the Lord. Amen. Amen. Salvation will come to you. Amen. Healing will come to you. Amen. Amen. Blessings will come to you if you believe. And so stop doubting and believe. Amen. Amen. Did, did you come to a point in your life where you were like Thomas? Amen. Purin sa purin ang Panginoon sa buhay ni Thomas. Pero ang buhay po niya ipinakita ng Panginoon para magkaroon tayo ng leksyon. Amen. That we can have a Thomas experience. At one point in time, we honestly admit that we are weak and frail and doubt the 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 doubt our faith. Amen. But we will not remain doubters. Amen. Because we can have a Thomas experience wherein we will be able to have an experience in the flesh. Siya po ay pinasok po niya yung kanyang fingers. Amen? And then he believed. And then he stopped doubting. Amen po ba? Amen. Amen. At ganun din po ang nais ng Panginoon sa buhay natin. Amen po ba? Upo ba? Amen? At sa buhay po ni Thomas, nakita po natin yung, yung kabutihan ng Panginoon. Yung pag-ibig ng Panginoon. Yung loyalty ng Panginoon kay Tomas. Amen? Hindi po nagbago ang, pag ang pagtingin ng Panginoon sa kanya. Amen? Hindi po siya kilundina ng Panginoon. Amen? 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 Jesus did not condemn him and he said, Peace be with you. Amen? Jesus did not condemn him and said, Tomas, halika. Inabot siya ng Panginoon. At kaya tayong abutin ng Panginoon. Amen. Ano man ang kalalagayan natin. Amen po ba? Amen. Tayong lahat ay yumuko at tumikit. Are you overwhelmed with sorrow and pain, doubt and unbelief? Just like Thomas? It's okay. It's okay. Do not condemn yourself. And do not condemn other people for feeling so. Because Jesus will reach out to you and say, Put your finger here. See my hands. Reach out your hand and put it into my side. My child stopped doubting and believed. And Thomas said, My Lord and my God. My Lord and my God. Ang sabi ni Thomas, sapagkat nalanasan niya mismo, naramdaman niya mismo, ang Panginoon, kapatid, Whatever your situation is right now, 
Jesus can come and say, Peace be with you. Put your fingers in the hole of my hands. Stop doubting and believe. Jesus, be honest, just like Thomas. Jesus. Bear your heart, bear your life. Surrender everything to Jesus. And Jesus, just like he did to Thomas, will reach out to you. He will reach out and say, Anak, ilagay mo ang iyong mga daliri sa aking mga kamay. At damayin na ako'y buhay baka pangyarihan na totoo napatay ako ang ulit ngayon ako'y nagbangon muli mula sa mga patay at ako'y buhay at ang aking kapangyarihan ay tunay at ibinibigay ko sa'yo at ipinaparanas ko sa'yo masyado ka na bang napagod masyado ka na bang nalungkot masyado ka na bang nanghina ano man ang iyong kalalagayan ngayon? Kaya kang abutin ng Diyos, kapatid. Kaya kang abutin ng Panginoon. Open up your heart. Bear your soul to God. Be honest just like Thomas. Thomas was honest enough to say, I'm too exhausted to believe. I am willing but I am unable. Jesus reached out to him and touched him and gave him the grace to believe. And he said, My Lord and my God. Have you doubted for so long? You've been attending for so long, but you have never believed. Nakinig ka lang ng nakinig, pero ang nakinig ka lang, hindi mo naman nakabuhay ang iyong narinig. You've been listening to the word of God, to the preaching, to the gospel for a long, long time. But you never had a real personal experience just like Thomas. And don't wait for another day. But make it a reality today. Just like Thomas. Say it to God. Say it to God. I want that experience. I am doubting, but I am willing to believe as long as I am able to see and experience. And God can reach out to you and touch you and make Himself a reality to you.
say unto you, today is the day of your deliverance. Napapu ka sa maraming bagay. Kinalimutan mo ang Diyos. You've forgotten about God. You've rebelled against God. You've seek solace in religion. You've seek solace in the company of unbelievers who have led you to vices and sin. But today, you will stop, saith God, because today is the day of your deliverance and salvation. Today, you will stop your doubt and unbelief because today, God will set you free just like He did to Thomas. Sikya rabakanda, rabakanda. If you are only honest and admit in the sight of God that you have doubted Him, that you have not believed in Him, that you have rebelled against Him, that you have committed sin against Him. And God can reach out to you. And so today, reach out to God and say, God, forgive me. Forgive me for my doubt. Forgive me for my unbelief. Forgive me for my sin. Forgive me for my un for my rebellion. Forgive me for turning my back from you for backsliding. Ano man po ang mga bagay na ating nakumit laban sa Panginoon? I-confess po natin. Aminin natin kagaya ni Tomas, let us be honest. And from our brokenness, we shall rise again because God will lift us up. From our pain and sorrow and agony and misery, God can lift us up again and restore us again. If you will reach out to God, God will reach out to you. And so today, be honest. Matagal ka nang tumatakbo. Ito ang sabi sa iyo ng Panginoon. Tapos na ang iyong pagtakbo. You've been running away from God. You've been escaping from the calling of God. And the Lord is saying, Stop your running away. Stop your doubt. Stop your unbelief. Kura ba shikiyarabaka? Yes, O oh Lord God. Nakikita ko po, Panginoon, ang mga puso, O oh God, na naglaladlad sa iyo. Nagpapakatotoo sa iyo, Panginoon. Umaamin. Tumatawag sa iyo, O oh Diyos. Magaya ng iyong pangako, ang maabutin mo kami, O oh Diyos. Patawarin mo po kami, Panginoon sa aming pagtakbo, sa aming pagdududa, sa aming paghihina. Patawarin mo po kami, Panginoon, sapagat hindi kami naging tapat. Pero Lord, sa araw na ito, ang mensahe mo ay itigil na. Stop running. Stop doubting. Stop your unbelief. At sa oras na ito, humanda ka kapatid, kung kinakailangan mong mananasan ang naranasan ni Tomas, ipaparanas sa iyo ng Panginoon. Kung kinakailangan mong ipasok ang iyong mga daliri sa kamay ng Panginoon, ipaparanas sa iyo ng Panginoon upang maibahon ka niya, maibalik ka niya, mapalakas ka niya, at maitigil niya ang kanya ang iyong pagdududa. Shikiyarabaka. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, O oh God. Yes, O oh Lord. Kagaya na yung ginawa kay Tomas, Panginoon. Hindi mo kinundi na inabot mo ang maabutin mo ang iyong mga anak. Yakapin mo, O Diyos. Yakapin mo, Panginoon. Ipadama mo ni Paranas, O God, ang iyong pag-ibig, ang iyong kapayapaan, ang iyong kalakasan, 
ang iyong pagalingan, ang iyong himala. Pinatunayan mo, O Diyos, ang ikaw ay nabuhay mula sa mga nagkaroon ng buhay, Panginoon, nung Sabat, nung Linggo, Panginoon, ng pagkabuhay. Na sinaselebrate namin as an Easter Sunday, Lord, pinatunayan mo na ikaw ay buhay at kaya mo mabuti ng aming mga pangangailangan. Kaya naman sa oras na ito, Ama, abutin mo, O Diyos, ang iyong mga anak. Reach out to your people. Reach out to your children, O God, just like you did to Thomas. Let them have an experience. A real experience, O God, of a one true living God. Shikialalabaka. Come on, receive. Receive the touch of God. Receive the presence of God. Receive the peace of God. And receive the forgiveness of God. Shikialabashakataka. Receive the restoration of God. Receive the anointing of God. The power of God to heal you, to touch you, to make you whole. God, restore your people from their brokenness. Give your people, oh God, peace from their suffering and agony. Panginoon, bigyan mo sila ng payapag-isip sa kanilang pagtulog sa gabi, Panginoon. Hindi mo sila magdudod at mag-iisip ng negatibo at pangit. Pupunoyin mo sila at babahain ng iyong kapayapaan, ng iyong pag-ibig, ng iyong kalakasan, ng iyong kapatawaran. Hindi na po nila pakundinahin ang kanilang mga sarili. Bago sila, Panginoon, ay pabangon, kagaya ng pagbangon mo kay Tomas. Tapos na po sila sa episode ng buhay nila, ng pagtalikod, pagdududa, pag-alalala, at pagwawalang bahala. Sa oras na ito, Ama, itayo mo at it it itindigan yung mga anak, palakasin, Panginoon. Sa pangalan ni Jesus. Kapatid, hindi kinakailangan kumulog o kumidlat. Ngunit sa oras na to, ang Diyos ay buhay. Maranasan mo siya sa iyong buhay. Shikarabasya kataka. Receive the presence of God. Receive the anointing of God. Receive the peace of God. Receive the strength of God. Receive the salvation of God. Never shall you doubt again. But today, you know and you know and believe in your heart that God is real. And you shall, ex you know, you shall blurt out and say, My Lord and my God. Just like Thomas did. My Lord and my God. Because He has become real in your life. He is not just somebody who is preached by religion. He is not just somebody who has been given to you as a message by some religious preachers. But now, God has become real in your life. Just like Thomas, you had that experience of putting your fingers in the hole of his hands. And you say, oh Lord, and oh my God. Anak, tanggapin mo ang aking kapayapaan. Hindi ka na magugulumihanan. Hindi ka na magkakaroon ng kaisipan na naguguluhan at walang papayapaan. Hindi ka na magdududa. Pagkos ikaw ay patuloy na mananalig at magtitiwala sa akin, tanggapin mo ang aking kapayapaan ang sabi ng Diyos na buhay. Hindi mo nasasaktan at kukundinahin ang iyong sarili. 
sapagkat malalaman mo ang aking pag-ibig ay sumasayo. Tanggapin mo yung, ang iyong sarili kagaya ng pagtanggap ko sa iyo ang sabi ng Panginoon. Minahal kita at hindi kita kinukundena. Tanggapin mo rin ang iyong sarili kagaya ng pagtanggap at pag-ibig ko sa iyo ang sabi ng Diyos na buhay. Shikidarabashan darabakan darabakan. Pwede po bang tayo dahan-dahang tumayo?
salamat o Diyos. Walang hanggang pasasalamat sa iyong kabutihan at pag-ibig sa aming lahat. Today, salvation has come upon us. And thank you, Lord, for the miracle of salvation and healing upon our lives. Thank you, Lord, for the life of Thomas. And thank you, Lord, for the experience of being able to put our fingers into the hole of your hands. Thank you, Lord, for giving us that experience. And never shall we doubt again. Never shall we not believe again. Today, you have set us free. Just like Thomas, we will say, My Lord and my God.
Kami naman sa shop, apat na araw na rin kami sarado. Uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Sarado kami. Doon di kami kumukuha ng pangkain araw-araw. Pero di ba, ang Diyos natin ay buhay at sa Kanya natin pinagkakatiwala lahat natin pangangailangan. Amen. Amen. Wala pa akong pambayad sa pwesto ko pero alam ko si Lord ang magiging Amen. Amen. Sa Panginoong Paong papuri at pasasalamat. Kasi po kagabi, nagpunta po kami nila Joseph sa patay, kapatid po ng isang youth ko dati. Tapos ngayon po, habang nandun po kami nila Joseph, habang nanonood po kami ng slide, kinakusap po ako ni Lloyd. Tapos sinabi po sa akin ni Lloyd na, mag-preach ka. So ngayon po, habang nanonood pa rin ako, kinakusap talaga ako ng Lloyd, mag-preach ka. Tapos ngayon po, nung natapos na yung, yung, slide, umuwi na po kami nila Joseph. Tapos nung nasa kwarto na po ako sa bodega, kinakausap pa rin talaga ako ng Lord, mag-preach ka. Tapos sabi ko, sige Lord, mag-preach ako. Hindi na bali kung, kung anong pagtawanan nila ako. Basta ang, ang gagawin ko, susunod ako talaga sa'yo. Mag-preach talaga ako. Tapos magalak na galak yung heart ko na, na mag-preach sa patay. Sabi ko, sabi ko nga sa kanila, sa mga kila Kenneth, kila Legend, sabi ko, samahan niyo ko. Alam ko, alam, alam ko, hindi ko man, hindi ko man ma, hindi ko man alam, sabi ko, alam ko, kasama ko si Lord. At yung pala na espiritu ng Lord, yun yung kasama ko. Tapos, ayun po, bago po kami umalis, pumunta, papunta sa patay, nagpray po kami. Tapos, tunay nga na mabuti talaga ang Lord. Habang nagpipreach po talaga ako, andun yung pagsama ng Lord. Andun yung, andun yung banal na espiritu ng Lord na sumasama po sa akin. Hindi ko na po, tin, hindi ko na po tinignan kung ano po yung magiging reaksyon ng mga tao habang ako po yung preach Ayun po, habang po ako nagsasalita, ang iba po ay nag-amen, nag-agree po sila. Sabi ko, Lord, wala akong ibang, wala akong ibang gagawin kundi ang pasalamatan ka sa kabutihan mo at sa pagsama mo sa aking buhay. Kaya habang po nagpipreach ako, nakita ko po yung napakaraming tao. At, at, at binubulong pa rin sa akin ng Lord habang ako pinagsasalita. Sabi ko, Lord, marami pa talagang hindi ligtas. Kaya yun po, hindi ko na po pinaka, pinalampas yung pagkakataon na hindi maligtas yung maraming tao na nanandun. At naisip ko po yung sinabi ng lingkod ng Diyos na kailan mo pa ipapangaral ang salita ng Diyos kung kailan wala na sila kung kailan nawawala na sila sa mundong ibabaw nito. Kaya nilakasan ko po yung loob ko at naniniwala ako na kasama ko po ang Lord kagabi at sa susunod po na araw sasamahan po ako ng Lord. Kaya yun po, nagpapasalamat po ako sa Panginoon. So, kanina nga po tayo po yung nagbigay ng kapurihan sa Panginoon sa pumagitan ng pagsamba, pag-awit at pagkanta. Amen po ba? Amen. At tayo rin po, at pagkatapos po na tayo rin po yung nagbigay ng Pasalamat papuri sa Panginoon sa pumamagitan ng ating mga testimony or pagpapahayag ng kanyang kadakilan. Amen po ba? At ngayon naman po, tayo rin naman po ay magpapakita na pasasalamat sa Panginoon sa pumamagitan ng pagbibigay. Amen? Amen po ba? Amen po ba? Naintindi po ba? Sige po pumalakpak po muna lahat ng nakakaintindi. At para nga po sa mga, hindi, sa mga kapatid dati na hindi nakasama nitong dalawang nagdaang fellowship natin uh, kasi po ang theme ng fellowship na ng outdoor fellowship is great things has been done and greater things are still to be done amen po ba? dakilang bagay na ang ginawa ng Panginoon ngunit mas dakila pa ang gagawin ng Panginoon sa ating mga buhay at sa iglesia nito amen po ba? yung po ang tema yung po ang tema ng ating nagdaang outdoor fellowship amen? At kahapon nga po ako rin po ang nag-exhort, o nung biyernes, rather, uh, ako po ang nag-exhort ng offering. At ngayon ko lamang pong i-share din sa inyo eh, kung ano yung in-exhort ko nung araw na yun. Na, dahil nga po yun ang theme namin, na yun ang theme ng naganap na outdoor fellowship. Uh, alam ko po, sabi po, di ba po, Dakila na yung ginawa sa atin ng Panginoon. Amen. At sino pong naniniwala doon? Pakitaas po kami na naniniwala. Dakila na ang ginawa ng Panginoon sa ating mga buhay. Amen. Lahat mo tayo, lalong-lalong na po yung mga tunay na Kristiyano na matasan para ng palataya. Amen. Alam na alam po natin na dakila na ang ginawa ng Panginoon sa atin. At sabi ko nga po, kung dakila na ang ginawa ng Panginoon sa atin, nangangahulugan lang na dakila na rin po 
yung kaya natin ibigay para sa kanya. Amen? Amen po ba? Amen po ba? Amen. Sabi po kasi, amen sa prophecy o sa tema ng ating outdoor fellowship na great things have already been done to us. Dakilang mga bagay na, dakilang promosyon, dakilang pagpapala na ang ibinigay para sa atin. Amen? Kaya na naniniwala po ako na dakila rin po ang kaya nating ibigay para sa Kanya. Amen? O dakila na rin po yung naibibigay natin para sa Kanya. Amen? Pero, ang sabi po sa prophecy, o at ang sabi rin po sa tema natin, mas dakila pa rin po yung kaya niyang ibigay sa atin. Amen? Ayun po ba? Naintindihan po ba natin? O dakila na yung ginawa sa atin ng Panginoon, pero sabi po ng Panginoon, mas dakila pa yung kaya niyang ibigay sa atin. Amen? Mas dakila pa yung gagawin niya sa mga buhay natin. Nangangahulugan lang po na yung kaya natin ibigay sa kanya ay dapat mas dakila rin po. Amen? Kasi nagagawa na natin ibigay, sabi nga, dakila yung ginawa sa atin ng Panginoon. So kaya na natin ibigay yung the best natin. Pero meron parang mas the best eh, sabi ng Panginoon eh. So nangangahulugan lang na kaya, meron din tayo kayang ibigay na mas the best pa para sa Kanya. Amen po ba? At sabi ko nga po nitong nagdaang bearness, na baka yung pagbibigay natin, ito yung maging susi para may sakatuparan yung propesiyang ito sa ating mga buhay. Amen? Kasi sabi nga, give and you shall receive. Amen po ba? Baka pag tayo po, nagawa natin ibigay yung mas the best pa para sa Panginoon, baka ito na rin po yung maging susi na katuparan sa ating mga, sa propesya sa ating mga buhay. Amen po ba? Baka ito na rin po yung maging susi na sabi nga, if, if we give, we shall receive na pag tayo po ay nagbigay ng mas the best, baka ibigay, ibalik na rin po sa atin ni Lord yung pinangako niya mas the best. Amen po ba? Naintindihan po ba natin? Sige pa po, walang pakpulat na nakaitindi. Amen po ba? So, sige po. Alam ko po, po na kaya-kaya natin magbigay pa ng mas the best dahil yun ang pangako sa atin ng Panginoon. Amen? So, sige po, sa oras at araw na ito, uh, ibigay na po natin, ihanda na po natin ang ating mga puso, ihanda na po natin ang mga bulsa upang ibigay ang mas the best pa para sa Panginoon. Upang makatanggap din tayo o matanggap din natin yung ipinangako ng Panginoon sa atin na mas dakilang mga bagay. Amen po ba? Kaya sige po sa oras at araw na to, uh, ibigay na po natin yung the best para sa Panginoon. Praise God. <laughs> Ang mundo po, taon-taon na, nagsin-celebrate eh. Ah, ah, inulit-ulit nila yung tamatay ng Christ at inulit-ulit yun nila yung nagsin-celebrate. Pero tayo, araw-araw po sinin-celebrate natin yung tamatay ng Christ yung pagkabuhay muli ng Christ. Kaya po yun, yung pinaka-grandest and greatest day sa bawat Kristiyano, yung pong mapagtagumpayan ni Christ yung death, yung kamatayan. Dahil yun, naligtas na tayo, tayo mga buhay. Amen po ba? Kaya po may reason tayo para maging happy every day.
peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. That's the kingdom of God. Everybody sing righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost. Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. That's the kingdom of God. Don't you want to be a part of the kingdom? Don't you want to be a part of the kingdom? Don't you want to be a part of the kingdom? Come on, everybody. Joy in 